Hello everyone, I'm Bob Martin and welcome to Cleaning Tips, Tricks and Testimonials brought to you by Services Etc. Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning proudly serving Northeast Pennsylvania, the Pocono Mountains and surrounding areas since 1990. In this video I'm going to address how to safely and effectively remove dry paint spots from your carpet because even the most careful do-it-yourselfer can have an accident now and then. When speaking with a homeowner the most common misconception about paint spots that I encounter is the belief that since they are only using a water-based paint, the spot should be relatively easy to clean with just water. This is not true, and so the old adage goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. A few dollars for some drop cloth can save you a costly visit from me. But not to fear, whatever type of paint you're using, I've got some helpful tips to help you get your mess all cleaned up. Since all paint spots are not the same, the first and most important step is to carefully inspect the problem area. Some spots may be the size of a pinhead, some may be the size of a coin, some spots might be on the surface, and others might go down to the base of the yarn. Some spots may have been partially wiped up, and some may have dried to a hard solid bead. Gathering as much information about the area to be cleaned is the most important step in the spot cleaning process. After a thorough inspection, choosing the most effective method for removing the paint spot is the next step and to have everything we need on hand before getting started. Small surface drips of paint that have attached to a single yarn or two are more effectively removed using a pair of duckbill scissors. I purchased my scissors from the local Home Depot. Before attempting to snip anything out of the carpet, I suggest practicing on a scrap piece so that in no time at all you'll be doing it just like the pros. For larger spots, professional cleaners use a gel type spotting agent. This allows our detergents and solvents to remain on the surface without pouring immediately through the carpet backing. In this video, and for demonstration purposes only, I've made my own gel cleaner using hair gel which you can try making yourself. Before using any spot cleaner, I suggest pre-testing on an inconspicuous area first to prevent causing further damage. A few items you may wish to have on hand before getting started are some absorbent white towels, two spoons, some common hair gel, a citrus-based spot cleaner, denatured alcohol, and a spray bottle with plain water. In a small serving cup, try mixing a teaspoon of liquid-based citrus cleaner with a heaping tablespoon of hair gel. Mix the ingredients thoroughly. The goal is to retain the gelatin texture while adding in some spot cleaning properties. This will allow our cleaning power to sit on top of the problem area without running down through the backing and hopefully start to break down the paint. Once we have a thick, viscous solution, apply a liberal amount on the surface of the spot. Using the spoon or the rounded edge of the duckbill scissors, lightly tamp and work the mixture into the spot so that all the affected areas are covered by our gel solution. Remember that the purpose of using a gel is so that the solution can remain toward the surface of the spot while allowing time for the detergents and solvents to break down the paint. After a few minutes, use the rounded edge to lightly agitate the area from the outside working inward. This will reduce the chances of spreading the contamination as it breaks down. After agitating the area for a few minutes, you can check the progress of your work by blotting the area with a clean, absorbent white cloth. Check the cloth for any color transfer, and that will give you a good indication of whether or not pro any progress is being made. Remember to always blot and never rub any spot, as friction from rubbing can cause permanent distortion in the face yarns. If you should see any dye or color transfer from the carpet itself, immediately stop agitating and blot up the remaining solution.
Take the spray bottle and spritz a fine mist of water over the area and blot again, trying to remove any of the remaining gel. Repeat misting and blotting until you have removed as much of the gel as possible. Pour a small amount of denatured alcohol on a clean, dry, white cloth and blot the area again to remove any residues. Dry as quickly as possible. If you do see that the paint is beginning to transfer color to the towel and no color loss is occurring to the carpet itself, continue working the area. You can add in a little more gel if necessary, allow a little more dwell time, and continue to gently work the area until there is no more color transfer from the paint. Once you have removed as much of the paint as possible, you can take your spray bottle with some water and mist over the area and blot with a dry, clean, white towel. Repeat misting and blotting until you have removed as much of the gel as possible. Pour a small amount of denatured alcohol on a clean, dry, white cloth and blot the area again to remove any residues that have remained in the carpet. Continue blotting until you have the carpet as dry as you possibly can. And then lightly groom over the area with a hair comb. This will help stand the pile up, giving it a uniform look and helping it dry much quicker. Thanks again for watching and I hope you found our video helpful. I'm Bob Martin from Services Etc. and please check back for future helpful videos.